Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna see how to copy geometry to quads. All right, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, this is what we're gonna do. Seems really complex, but it's actually really simple. Uh, Houdini makes this really, really, really simple, and you can see this image looks pretty nice. Uh, so let's see what we have here in the scene. You can see this is the result here. And the whole network is it's that, but most of the effect is basically two or three nodes here. So it's not that complex at all. And you can see again, let me change the amount of subdivisions here. See, so I'm copying the geometry to this. So I have this uh, platonic solid here, which has quads. I'm just subdividing it to make quads uh, of every uh, face. Uh, let me, so you can see that's the original. I don't think this would work, but let's see. Yeah, it doesn't work because this is not quads. So you need to have quads in your geometry. And you can see this just makes the geometry, connects the geometry. And the source for this is this. Uh, this little patch of geometry here. You can see I have a different uh, patches of geometry here. This one's kind of a chain, and this is uh, kind of a just pipes. You can do whatever you want here. And then I have a few geometries here. Let's uh, do something else. You can see that's with the other kind of geometry, and this is with the other kind of geometry, kind like kind of like chains. And if we go to, let's say, a simple grid, well, this is just a grid. You can see that's how the geometry is being connected. Uh, we have a parameter here for the depth. It's going to change depending on your geometry. But this is what's happening. It's just copying to each one of this, uh, uh, these faces. You can see this is what's happening. It's copying copying that geometry to each one of these faces and it's being connected. But it's not as simple as just connect, uh, copying to the center of that. It's basically you have to consider the geometry it's being deformed, like in this example. If you have this, uh, this torus here, let me make this a little bit bigger, and you copy to that, you can see, let me reduce the size. The chains are being connected correctly all across the surface. It's being deformed and it's being connected correctly. If we change this uh, pattern to the other one, you can see it's being connected correctly, even if it's just being deformed. And this is something that I saw in a plugin somebody made for Maya a while ago. And I was like, mm, I'm sure I can do that in Houdini. And uh, turns out, yeah, it was pretty, pretty damn simple. So let's start doing that in Houdini. All right, so I'm just going to create it here in this same file that I have. I'm going to create a new geometry node. And uh, here I'm going to paste my pattern just so I don't have to redo this. But it's really simple. I just model this in Houdini. If you have seen my, uh, there's a tutorial I made on modeling this. Uh, something like this. If you want to see that, it's a uh, learn day uh, tutorial. You see, I model this uh, patch and then I just uh, cut a piece of it like that with this. Uh, cut all that and just cut it with the box to have that uh, one to one unit, uh, exactly one unit, and then just uh, delete the, the faces. I have to have this open too so I can, so I can uh, make them join. And then I just rotate it to have it in the right orientation. So let's start with the grid. And let's uh, copy to the grid. We have this. It's going to be simple and it's going to be understandable. So what I said, if, if you use copy to points, it could work. But it wouldn't work with, uh, you can see it's kind of working. It's kind of giving you what you want. Uh, but it's not giving us exact uh, unions uh, to start off and if you want if you go for a platonic solid like let's say uh, an icosahedron 
Yes, and then we need to subdivide this to turn it into quads. If we copy to that, it's just not going to make any sense. So the copies are going to be weird. They're not going to be matching uh, the direction and everything. So it's not really following the counters of each one of those faces. So that's what we want. So first, uh, here at this branch here, we're going to just create a parameter. And basically what we're going to create is it's, it's UVs for these points. So it's kind of, we're going to do a projection basically of, of UVs. So we're going to use a, a, a UV wrangle, an attribute wrangle, sorry. And we're going to put here, uh, uh, we're going to create a value uh, that's a vector. And let me open my editor. External editors, you can see this uh, better. Okay, so I'm going to type here what I'm going to put here so you can see what I'm uh, typing here uh, better. So we start with a vector attribute, and this is a vector, and this is the attribute uh, shortcut. I'm going to call this prim uv. And the prim uv uh, attribute is going to be set to the coordinates of the points. So the point, uh, the point, the position x. Uh, the position y and the uh, no sorry the position c because we're in a, we're looking this from top so we're we're switching uh, p y for for p c here and the p c is going to be the y is going to be the last parameter there so if we save that and if we look what's happening here in Houdini see we got that attribute here created there it is. So if you go to the UV view, you don't see this because this is uh, prim UV, but we can change this uh, temporarily to just UV to, we can see this, what's happening. And there you go. You can see we're just projecting uh, the UVs uh, from top, but you can see it's, it, the, the center is here. So we're going to offset this over here. So we're going to add um, just uh, 0.5 to move it over here. So. Let's uh, do that here in the X plus zero five and in the C axis, in the X axis, in the Y axis, sorry. So now you can see we have it here. And it's basically just like projecting UVs from the top. So this is going to help us later match this. Imagine that this square is going to be the, the each one of the faces in the U geometry. And this is exactly what we're doing, just projecting basically a texture, think about it like that, like a geometry texture into a, a, a quad or, or a square. Uh, but we need this to, call, we call this prim UV, all right? And just uh, leave it like that. And then here on the other side, let's go back to the uh, UV, to the, um, to the viewport. So here we're gonna do another attribute wrangle. And here, let's call this uh, projection projection and here we're going to call this uh store prim num numbers so we're just going to store the primitive numbers that coming from the geometry here in this uh in this little uh snippet so the snippet's gonna be let me open this in the external editor again really simple we're gonna do it an integer attribute uh, it's going to be called prim, and then this is going to be equal to the number of uh, points. So the pt num, the number is going to be the primitive number. So that's all we need there. We're going to use that later. So now this is going to be the one that's connected to the copy to points, and now we have this. So this is the first part, but this is not uh, correct because, as you can see, we are copying to the points but it's not correct, uh, the correct positioning for these guys, right? All right, so after this, we're gonna create another attribute wrangle, and this is gonna be uh, when we stick this to the geo. Stick to quads, let's call this. And again, open the external editor. So here's gonna be a little bit more code, but it's gonna be really simple, actually. So we're gonna set the position of each one of those uh, copies because you can see we have now we have all these points here to deal with we're gonna set the position 
equal to the when I use the, the prim uv function now. Before we just created an attribute, this is the prim uv function. So in this function, we're gonna take oh actually first we need to plug the the original geometry here uh to the second input here. We need those the, the copies and the original uh geometry without any co copies. So we're gonna get uh geometry one, which means uh, input one, zero, one. So this is zero and this is one. We're getting we're getting in the we're gonna set the position taking uh the positions from the input uh for the original geometry, which is input one here, right? And we're gonna use for that the the P for the position the p attribute and then we're gonna say what number uh, of point do you want well we're gonna use all the all the the uh, points so we're gonna just say uh gonna get the the uh, the primitive attribute which we previously so we're going to uh sorry you want to use the uh the uh primitive attribute here the primitive number for each one of these so we're gonna we're going to get the position of each one of those primitives and then uh the the last value we're gonna get uh the the prim uv which is the which is the uv's uh for the primitive that we are going through so now if we save this you can already see that we are actually projecting uh the points we have from the copies to the to those uh primitives here you can see there is the primitive we're matching those, but now everything it's basically totally flat. So this is already working, but it's just flat geometry. It's just flat one on top of each other. We can even uh, plug something else here. We can put a switch here and plug this one and plug that there. And if we switch to this geometry, you can see this is already working. So that's uh, great for us. It's our first step is already done. But now we need to kind of inflate the geometry, get it back to its 3D shape. So that's what we're going to do with the next uh, couple of lines. So first we're going to calculate a normal and uh, we're going to put that into a vector. Call it uh, normal, just for normal. And this is going to use again the prim uv uh, expression. So we're going to use geometry uh, one again, input one. And for that, we're going to get now the normal attribute. And then again, we're going to use the same attributes. We're going to iterate to each one of those primitives and uh, use the same uh, prim uv attribute and save that and do, if we save that we have not you do, done anything right now because uh, we just created uh, an attribute here if we pass that attribute to the normals uh, so we can see it normal like that if we save that uh, and we can see if we enable normals you can see we are actually just copied uh, the normals of the primitive to all, each one of those points so now they are uh, ready for us to just move them the good thing is that these normals on the corners are exactly where they need to be and this is uh, the actual really really nice trick of this having the normals be parallel with completely uh, to the uh, to the face so the, the the surfaces match correctly so now we can use so now we can use this uh, attribute we created and we don't want it to the normals. We want to inflate the geometry. So we're going to do for the position we already have, we're going to add to it to just, we're just going to add in the C direction. So the depth of this basically. So uh, we're going to get the normalize, uh, normalize attribute that we created. And we're gonna add that to, let's say, let's add something like 0 0.2 and let's save that. And, oh, sorry, not add, multiply to this. And now 
you can see we're getting something weird like this. What we need uh, to to use here is before we do this, we need to multiply it as well by the uh, by the primitive uh, prim uv c attribute. So if we save that now, let's hide that. Now you can see this is working. So we're basically inflating the geometry uh, with the, the with those uh, parameters there. So instead of having this as a as an attribute there that's going to be constant, let's just change this to an attribute that we can uh, modify. Let's call this uh, depth depth like that. Save it. Uh, let's uh, close this. Click this icon to create the attribute, and you can see it's there right now. It's zero. So now we can inflate the geometry correctly. Uh, the other thing I forgot actually here, it's adding normals to this geometry because we are trying to use the normals here and, and we don't have them. That's why it's here. Uh, I made a mistake here. That that's why here it's tearing apart the geometry. So we need actually here in, in to create a, a normals for the attribute for the geometry. So now if we create normals here. We're going to have normals on, on the uh, geometry. And I'm going to put it on the points. And now, uh, just change this to vertex angle. And now, if we see here, we are not going to have the, those steering. So let's uh, create another facet to recalculate the normals after the fact. And now you can see the geometry, it's been uh, well together. And that's because we are, we're trying to use the normal attribute here and we didn't have it. So sorry for that. So that's the whole thing. Uh, that's the whole effect. Now you can plug any geometry that has uh, quads and it will work. So we can test this with a torus and connect it there. Switch to that one and see the result and you can see it works and you can use uh, the depth to change the depth of the, your effect we can uh, add a, a fuse here at the end to fuse actually fuse the geometries because they were not welded now we can subdivide this and it's gonna look cool you can see the effect working right there and if you use any other pattern or you change uh, the geometry, this is going to keep working as long as you have quads in your geometry. So there you go. Now you can do uh, different interesting patterns and copy it to your geometry. And, uh, and that's it. Cool. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to get the original scene that I uh, had for the... The original hip file for this project you can support us on patreon and get all our files i uh, hope you enjoyed this one i will see you in the next one and let's keep learning together cheers